Okay, so a lot of people seem to have had some questions about CM10 on the Verizon variant of the S3. We'll go ahead and just to confirm it for those naysayers. This is the SCHI535 running 4.11 uh, C Engine mod. This is D Hacker's uh, July 21st um, build. The it is technically the 22nd right now. It's uh, seven or no, yeah, 7:22:2012, 1:31 a.m. I guess he just put out a new build. I'm not quite flashing it yet, but there are some questions that people have. Like some people are having issues with their camera, and one thing I've noticed is that my camera works fine on reboot. However, if I remove the SD card, I instead get this. Can't connect to the camera. So I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and show that that is an issue. Um, and some people want to know what the reboot process is like. So we're going to go ahead and reboot the phone. When you reboot um, into CM9 and CM10 on the Verizon variant, because it uses Kexec, what you end up having is it boots normally, it'll show the Galaxy S3 thing, and then it'll turn off, it'll turn back on, and boot into recovery, at which point it should show the little Android guy, Sid, or whatever his name is, flashing something, and then around a quarter through that, it turns off and then turns back on and then you should get the CM10 or CM9 rather boot animation as CM10 doesn't have one yet but right now it's going into this next we should see the little Android guy so far so good this is pretty par for the course I mean the big issue that I see with uh, Kexec or Kexec whatever you want to call it. Also, massive net split on the Verizon S3 channel right now. This is... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, this is still booting. Um, yeah. We went from over 100 users to 12. That's... That's a quality server. Anyway, so, yeah, it shows you the Cyanogen Mod 9, um boot animation. I don't think they've done one for 10 yet, so nothing to worry about there. If you get that, don't freak out. So now we are actually in CM10. We've got the new unlock cool thing. If you get this when you turn it on, don't worry about it. Just dismiss it. Your data should still work just fine. It does take a second to initialize, but it does that regardless of whether or not you're on a custom ROM or stock. But I can go ahead and I will actually, yeah, it just worked just fine. I mean, data works on this. I unfortunately do not live in an area where I can show you uh, 4G working, but there are reports that it does work, although it is a little sketchy at times. So let's go ahead and see if that reboot fixed the camera. And it did. We have a functional camera now. Another thing that some people are noting is that some people actually have, like, some people are stuck in 3 megapixels. I don't know if that's focusing, but I'm actually on 8 megapixels. I don't know why. That's just how it's been. Um, but, I, photos work for me. Flash works for me. I mean, there's no issues. It's just worked for me. Um, but, like I said, taking out the SD does seem to screw the pooch, metaphorically. Um, other than that, though, some people have talked about multimedia messaging. Um, bear with me as I pull this down, that way you don't see his number. But a good friend of mine sent me this yesterday, July 21st, and it worked just fine. And then I sent him back this. You'll have to take my word on whether or not that was on CM10. It was, but it does work for me. I've had no issues with it. Um, 
if you're worried about how smooth it's going to be, I wouldn't expect it to be a whole lot smoother than stock because this phone's just ridiculously specced. So you shouldn't really expect a huge change in uh, performance, maybe in quadrant or, you know, something else like that. But other than that, I wouldn't really expect anything crazy. Um, Google Now does work. It's freaking fast. Um, for example, you can ask it stuff like, how tall is Andrew Garfield? Who, if you don't know, played Peter Parker in the new uh, Spider-Man. So we'll go ahead and we'll just... How tall is Andrew Garfield? Andrew Garfield is 6 feet 0 inches tall. Just works. Um, we can also ask it stuff like, uh, I don't know. How old is Chester Bennington? Chester Bennington is 36 years old. I mean, you want to make sure that you speak clearly, but it seems to work fine for me. I've had no issues today. Um, everything works for me. It's CM10. It's smooth. But, you know, your mileage may vary, so I would be careful with whether or not you flash it. Some people are having issues with their uh, IMEI going missing. I'm not really sure how that's happening, but it is something that is happening. Luckily, mine seems to have managed to stay there, but who knows? Um, it's something to be weary of. If you're really, really not sure of what you want to do, I would just wait just until there's a better build, but as for right now, this is perfect for me as a daily driver. I would suggest you give it a, a go. Some people are reporting issues, some people aren't. So, I mean, take it or leave it, but it's CM10, works, and yeah.